NFC tags are a really cool way of creating automations and triggering them in Home Assistant. So the way these devices work is they've got a tiny little chip embedded inside this little plastic disc and it's also got an antenna inside here. So it doesn't require any power. Basically what happens when you bring your phone near it or any other type of NFC reader, it will effectively power up the chip and the chip will then send a signal across to whatever the device is that's reading the chip and it will then um, identify it as a device. So these can be used to easily trigger any type of automation in Home Assistant. So what I'm going to show you today is basically how to use these devices, how to set them up and trigger them off using an iPhone. Um, there is a way to do it with Android. I don't have an Android phone, but I'm going to show you an iPhone. And basically what you can do then is create any type of automation. So at the end of the video, I'll tell you about a couple of different types of automations that I've seen people were running with these little devices because they literally can be used for such a myriad of different things. So open up your iPhone and click on shortcuts and create a new automation. Scroll down to NFC as your trigger and then bring your little tag along there and up at underneath the top of your phone and there we go. It's recognized the tag and it's loaded that code in. So now we just want to give that a name, this little automation or shortcut. So we'll just select it as the bedroom lamp. And once we've done that, now what we do is go next. And now we search for Home Assistant at the search bar at the bottom there. And that will then bring Home Assistant, select that. And we're going to say fire an event. And what we now need to do now is select a name for this event, a descriptive name, um, all lowercase and no spaces. So I'm going to use an underscore there to have the bedroom and the light. So once we've done that, we move forward and now what we want to do is we want to uncheck that little switch so that it is not going to notify us and pop something up each and every time that we run this. So don't ask. There we go. And now you've created your shortcut in the phone. So now you go to Home Assistant, create a new automation and we're going to create an automation and we're going to trigger it using an event. So select your event and now you're going to type in exactly that same name that you put in the event fire notification component on the on your shortcut. And now you scroll down and all I'm going to do is I'm going to select my Atom smart plug because that is what I've got my lamp connected to. Select that and I'm just going to say I want to toggle my lamp each time the phone taps that little NFC tag. And that's how easy it is to create these we just give it a name and we'll save it. And there we go. It is all set to go. So three of the coolest automations I've seen done using NFC tags are number one is the garbage bins. So on the day of the week when your garbage bins go out, you have an automation that reminds you through a text message or whatever you're using to go out and put your bin out. So as you take your bin out, you touch your phone to the NFC tag, which is stacked to the top of the bin and cancels the reminder. Second one, for people with young kids, they take a tag, they stick it to each one of the storybooks. And then mother or father or grandmother reads the book to them, records it as an audio file, and then you touch the phone to the tag and it reads along as the child pages through their book. Third one, um, even one of the best I think, as you're driving home, you wanna open your garage door, you have one of these tags stuck inside your car, touch the phone, opens the garage door. Anyway, there's lots more ideas you can do with these tags. Please let me know in the notes below if you've thought of any good ones that you've done yourself or you'd like to do. And I look forward to catching up with you again. Please like and subscribe if you want to hear more from this channel. Bye for now.